In our last session, we read the following letter. Dear Greg, I've been married for eight years. I thought we were pretty happy. We didn't quarrel much or anything, but two weeks ago my husband came to me and said he wanted a divorce. I think there's another woman involved, but he denies that. He says he's just tired of our marriage and wants to move on with his life. After spending my whole adult life on him and giving him three children, the coward actually said, I need my space. I can't believe he could say that. What can I do to stop this from happening? Does he not understand what this will do to me and to the children? So far, we've discussed that your husband is reacting to a lack of real love in his life, and you need to address choices you can make differently. You don't get to change him. Allowing him to make his own decisions, though, doesn't mean that you can't talk to him about this decision. You need to. But you can't be the least bit demanding or angry or accusing when you do. If you are, he'll feel it. And then he'll either fight you or he'll shut down. And either way, he'll hear nothing you say. Guaranteed. You can be certain that he already doesn't feel unconditionally loved by you. That's why he's leaving. And if you add to that feeling, your conversation as well as your relationship will be over. Right now, there's no way you could have a loving conversation with him. You're saying things like, I can't believe he could say that. And does he not understand what this will do to me and the children? I'm not picking on you. Your feelings are understandable. But if you talk to him like that, you're doomed. So how in the world can you avoid these feelings? You can't fake it. You can avoid them only if you feel more loved yourself. Read the book, Real Love, and the book, Real Love and Marriage. Tell the truth about your mistakes to some friends until you begin to feel some of the early effects of real love in your own life. You absolutely must have some measure of that love before you talk to him, or you'll use getting and protecting behaviors with him, which will make a productive conversation impossible. Once you feel loved, and perhaps after you've practiced the conversation with some loving friends, sit down with him and say something like this. I've been learning some things lately about relationships, and I can see now that all you've wanted from me our whole marriage is to feel loved unconditionally, and I have not given that to you. Yes, I know he probably hasn't loved you unconditionally either, but now is not the time to bring that up. You'll get nowhere if you start telling him about his faults. Start with the truth about your mistakes. So keep going and say, I just didn't know how to love you, and I'm sorry for how that's hurt you. I feel like I'm learning how to love you now from the beginning, like a child. And I believe that that will make a huge difference in our marriage. I would really like to give it a try with you, but it's still your choice whether you want to have that faith that things can be different. Then give him some examples of when you have not been loving, when you've been critical, judgmental, and harsh. I've seen this approach make dramatic changes in marriages almost overnight. That doesn't mean there still isn't a great deal of work after such discussions, but when you start with the truth, it can make a huge difference. Now, I know it might seem kind of unfair that you have to be the one to admit your faults when he isn't admitting his, but darling, Somebody has to be first. That's just the way it is in almost every relationship. And in this case, if it's not you, he's already made it plain that it won't be him. Are you willing to sacrifice a little pride to possibly change your life and your family? The potential rewards are huge. Now, what about his part in this decision? More about that in our next session.